Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Sorry for putting this out so close to my other video. As soon as I uploaded and pressed upload on that video, they released this new article, uh, Road to Framers Part 3. I thought this would be coming out later on tonight, but not. They put it out this time and it is showing off, as you're seeing in the background now, some absolutely amazing renders of some new Terminators coming for none other than the bloody night lord so let's jump in let's go through all and let's see what it says because there is some real previews in here as well so the article starts off with so far in the road to framus the dark angels have had things their way that ends today it's time to take a look at the conta car am i pronouncing that right Conti Car, that's well, that's how I'm going to say it. Conti Car, Terminate Elite from the Night Lord Legion. Um, it says, when the um, uh, Night Lord Legion needed butchers and murderers of the highest caliber, they unleashed the Conti Car Terminator squads uh, with recruits taking from Nostran Armel's ruling elite. They would only fight for the leaders they deemed worthy of their attention. In fact, the Conti Car would often be dispatched to wrestle control from Night Lords whose commanders um, fought and them unfit for the Legion. Oh, boy so like these are like the night lord police kind of imagine god imagine how much of a like a messed up person you have to be for the night lords to actually send these guys to like come and stop you you have to be like really really insane and um, it goes on to say armed with heavy flamers or volkite cavitos and the Nostrum army and chain glaives they are going to bring abject despair and destruction to the frame assistant the Nostrum army and chain glaive in particular is going to slice through a lot of loyalist space marines now before we go into a little bit of rules let's just look at these models the the one on the left seems like he's standing on like a pile of organs it, se it seems like you know he's about to squish it what he's done you can see like he's double bladed um, um ch uh, uh, chainsawed and um, with the nice little spikes at the end and of course he's got the flamer and stuff like that um the the, the whole look of the model with the skulls the chains and um, of course that's going to be skin as his pelt um, and stuff like that is is of course re very very night lorder uh, i think they look incredible i think the night lords have some of the best models when it comes to the horror series range i absolutely love their leviathan dreadnought which basically has that like half a body of a guy like just hanging off it and um, their their praetors for their legion look really really awesome as well the guy on the right with the volkite and the little chain blade underneath it that is just an awesome weapon i'm thinking maybe i can steal that and put it on my um primaris um gravis and stuff like that because the terminator armor goes really really well with gravis but incredible looking models skulls bones skin um, everything I expect. The only really downside to this is that I was hoping to see them properly in like a, like a proper model. Like the renders are really cool. We've had this with the Sisters of Battle and stuff like that, and it really does get you hyped up. But I was really really hoping to actually see these like properly painted out on the tabletop and just looking all glorious. But you know this will do for now, and hopefully um, a couple months down the road, maybe a few weeks, maybe even at Adepticon, which is on the twenty fifth of March, we'll actually see these properly in the flesh. Probably more of them, more customers, uh, uh, customizable, and all that glorious stuff that you expect to come and um, with new model releases now on to the rules the nostrum in chain glaive range is cost obviously zero strength plus one ap is free type melee two-handed and rending now the thing is i absolutely have no idea to play the horror Heresy, so i don't know if this is good or not i am slowly going to get back into the horror Heresy. i have actually got a force uh, of uh, well, I forced to play the Horus Heresy with, and that is, of course, my custodies, um, since they can use them in f uh, 30k and 40k, since everything's the same, except for a couple of units, but I'll just default them or something else. I only play with friends, so it won't be a big deal. Um, if we go more into it, it says you can take full advantage of the Counter Card Terminators by fielding them as additional elite choices as part of the new Night Lord's unique rights of war. The Cross of Bone. Okay, this seems pretty uh, cool. And this actually says Night Lord's unique rights of war, the Cross of Bone effects, um, uh, uh, for every non-compulsory HQ choice included as part of this detachment, the maximum number of elite choices available as part of this force organization chart is increased by one. Uh, the stronger are the stronger alone. As long as the model from this detachment with the independent character special rule is either alone or in a unit with no other independent characters, it gains plus one attack. Okay, all the attacks. The Tithe of Gore, Slay the Warlord, secondary objective is worth an additional one uh, victory point um, for the player that has selected this this right of war if the enemy warlord's final wound is removed by a friendly model with the independent character special rule limitations it says detachments using this right of war must take an additional compulsory troop choice in addition to those uh, usually uh, required um, on their force or organization chart detachments using this right of war may may not take conrad kerr's 
as a Lord of War choice. Okay, so you're giving up Conrad. Uh, the Rampant Blade, any unit from this attachment that makes a, con uh, a consolation uh, move must move the full distance allowed towards the nearest enemy unit uh, within line of sight. If no enemy units aren't in line of sight, then uh, the, con the, the, console the consolation, bloody hell, I can't, I can't even bloody speak, um, must move uh, towards their opponent's deployment zone. That was a mouthful. Um, again, that really makes no sense to me. But what does make sense to me is um, this new vehicle, the Legion um, Aquito Bombard with Morphus Heavy Bombard. Holy Emperor. These vehicles of the Horus Heresy get me so excited. Um, it says, This Horus Heresy campaign book also adds extra units for both sides in the bitter Civil War. We've already seen uh, the Gravitation Charge Cannon. Yes, that was a really awesome version of the Equitor. And the Rocket System has also been deployed. Now it's time to show you the standard version of of this um, armed with devastating Morbus Heavy Bombard. The shells fired from the Morbus Heavy Bombard bring absolute devastation to even the most heavily armoured um, units. Clearly, even Mortarian was impressed um, as there is more of a touch of the Quasar about the demonic plague burst crawlers that he unleashed on the Imperium after the heresy. Yes, that was one of the things that people pointed out about this tank. I'll compare it to um, um, the plague burst call in the background. Now, as you can see, um, like this is basically where it started its life and this is where it ended its life with the uh, traitors um, who you know used it and nurglified it and brought it to chaos it awesome i like i like you know i like seeing it in like it what what it was intended to be and what it now is through absolute heresy um it says uh, the the horror Society book nine crusade will be released later this year um, uh, with, with the Terminators, the Heavy Bombard. In the meantime, you can pick up Night Lords, Praetors. Yeah, we've already talked about them. So it is coming this year. There's no data on it as of yet. I'm sure they'll be doing more articles dedicated to the road of um, Framus. I don't know when they'll be... I think, actually, I think it's the first Monday of every month, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, please, someone correct me on that. But every, but every time they... You know, they drop something like this i really look forward to it because it's always something new in there and like i said uh, this time we got to see the the new night lord terminators and they look absolutely incredible i'm sure if you're a night lord fan you've got to be peeing your pants in excitement because um they're absolutely gorgeous models cannot wait to see the absolute rest of them in full effect on the tabletop painted up gloriously all right chaperoneos that is me done for another video thank you for coming thank you for watching as always sorry for the double videos like so close together again you know they they released this as soon as I press publish on the video. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, leave your thoughts, feedback about the Terminators down below, and we can have a nice little chat about them down there. Are you looking forward to him? Do you hate him? Do you love him? Do you want to purge him? I want to purge him. How dare they? Vile, vile night lords. Bloody comrade curse. Going for Rogel Dawn. It's a good thing Dawn was, like, so defensive. He fought Kurs off, and Kurs never stood a chance. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it there. See you in a bit. Have a great night, and bye-bye.